Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world. And tonight, we're going to go back in time and be a spy in the 80s with some Phantom Doctrine. And we'll get this thing going in just a few more minutes as we get to the top of the hour. And give folks a little bit of a chance to join us before we get started. Hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day today. And let's see if we can't have a wonderful time in this game today. We got a lot to try and accomplish. <laughs> and getting two missions done in one broadcast, one live stream. <laughs> you know, I'm not the world's fastest player. I will be the first one to admit it. But we're going to see if we can't get that done and get two missions completed today. We shall see. Yes, we shall see. Oh, okay. Alrighty, it looks like we are at the top of the hour. We're going to get things going and see what we can accomplish today. How about that? So uh, first thing is, I think, I don't I don't think I have a lot to do on here, but let, let me just at least peek into analytics and, and refresh my, oh, okay. So we did pick up some analytics that I have not, did not dive into last time. So we'll start with some analytics before we get out onto the map. Hey, Floki. It's good to see you dropping in. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight. And we got Robert Hansen as a potential lead here. And then this is the new item we got. We got several. Oh, actually, we got 17 out of 19. We got a lot of pieces of intel for this one. And we got an Athena Miller also on the board now. And we shall see. If we can start making some connections. Uh, head coach. We got a head coach connection. I see that one right here. And then... Uh, 
I don't know where else this is going to take us. Let's find out. Do we? <laughs> Let's take a look. Cover girl. Barrow. I see cover girl. So this one, uh, this Robert Hansen connection is, is, is got a bit of a trail leading out from it. I don't know if we'll join it in with Pharaoh or Letterbomb. Oh, let joins in with Letterbomb over here. So this, the, these two are connected in one sense. And then Roland Shelley is definitely connected with a bunch, but I don't see a link necessarily between the two right now. And I don't, I don't know if I see anything right here. Let's see, Spindlehawk, Salesman, Backbend, and Dead Beetle. Uh, I'm not seeing any links there with, with my eyes, which doesn't mean much sometimes. So let's decipher these last two bits that we have here and see if we get some more links. So I'm reviewing an invoice on Aviators, a letterhead, and this is really more your area of expertise than mine. Care to speculate on one? What parts Dean McMacken is buying here? And two, why so many of them uh, redacted, redacted, redacted? So we'll take a look here and see if Dean McMacken, he links up with Aviators, which uh, links to this group over here. right there but this this is all dead end links just like this is all dead end links we need some some links between them all up to innkeeper here let's see if this provides it an outgoing call from frequency office 267 and a salesman here i just received b19 documents uh sync cujo Met with Redacted at a known Thai Knots hub. There we go. I don't know if any of those sound familiar to be a link, but we'll take a look. I don't see Roaring Twenties Warm Winter Fanny Pack, the main links that we're looking for, but we can keep our eye open for a frequency. I feel like I've seen frequency out there and I see it pop way over here. So let's make room for this one. Let's see if we can come up with any other salesman. The shiny blade salesman. You see salesman out there. Oh yeah, 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 right here. So maybe what I do is this. Let's slide a few things over. Move this big honking piece of intel over here. And we move the salesman over here. And thanks, shiny blade. <laughs> Just in time to help me out because I wasn't seeing that link. And so this one, stops here back bend dead beetle so this is kind of floating attached to nothing off here in the center from what i can see we have a roland shelley has his little thread coming out here and then these three suspects are, are kind of linked to each other in fact further there's they're, they're linked with each other more than they even were before and i think that's about where we're stuck Oh, you said frequency link. Is there another one that I missed? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got the frequency. Okay. So let, let's move on to the next one. And we got, yeah, we got some stuff here, too. So let's bring it up. MIT. There's a potential link to MIT. I've been to the MIT uh, well, campus, but uh, just so you aren't wondering, no. <laughs> I did not attend MIT. I think y'all could have figured that out on your own. <laughs> I think <laughs> that could have been deduced without too much trouble. Let's see. We got uh, downwind aviators. It wasn't aviators in the other one? No, but it's not in this one. And new face. Okay. And downwind. Uh, these two are connected to each other. Now, do I have Plague Doctors or Caruso anywhere over here? Wow, this one's the, the most... Just a lot of scattered links and nothing links up from what I can see. Uh, of course, we only have half the intel available, uh, but we'll keep looking here. And the Special Concepts Division, one piece. So I don't think we're going to be solving it from this. Uh, any sign of Desmond Berry yet? That little weasel? Green corn? 
Yeah, someone's playing a prank on us, aren't they? Desmond Berry was never in Redacted. This is someone in 1418 messing with us, isn't it? Oh, so this is between a man and Sophia. There's a there's another one. So let's get Desmond Berry over here, and that's what's his face uh, that talks to us up in the corner. So now he's in this thing here. Just like uh, so, these are these are characters within the cabal that we've seen before. That is, and we got other people going to be dirty here too. Let's see, Green Corn, fourteen eighteen, and Man and Sophia. I don't. Know, I, I'm not seeing it. Nothing's jumping out at me. So I guess we're done. Oh well. Now let's see. Do I have, I think what I have to look at, no, I don't have the money. And I don't want to go selling any more stuff right now. Let's get back out to the map. Uh, I was going to say I need to develop another workshop project, but I don't have anything. I don't have enough money and I'm not going to sell stuff for it. We're going to get over here and jump in here. Gleaser, how you doing? Train crew back. Your, your train is making better time these last few days, I do believe. Or you got out early enough to catch an earlier train, one of the two. He he took a faster track, maybe, huh? <laughs> he took a left. <laughs> he took the left rail split, and he got you home a little faster today, instead of the right trail uh, rail split. So we're going to go just do this assault right now. And one thing I got to point out before, uh, actually, before we get in here. Uh, we're up in Vorkuta. Vorkuta, and we have two agents that we know about there. Mercy and Spitfire. Good news is Spitfire has a control phrase. So we have someone we can uh, put to our side. We'll make sure Spitfire does not appear <laughs> to be wearing highly conspicuous body armor. We've learned that lesson already, but we'll, we'll see if we can prevent that from happening. So that, that's what we're looking at here. Oh, you're actually in the train this very moment. Okay, okay. That's what you meant. I just... <laughs> I got it. You wouldn't have mentioned train crew. I, I just know that you travel by train, but you mentioned train crew because you're on the freaking train. So there, that, now that makes sense. The timing is all well in my head. So we got our normal support three right here. Um, she soon will be healed so we can use her skills. But I have three available that I've used inside in disguise before. Codex is along. I feel good about that. I know I have a Russian speaker somewhere. The question is, is my Russian speaker uh, available. So let's remove, say, Spade. Well, let, let's just look at all of them real quick. Spade has 136, 3 movement 6. So Spade's not bad, plus she's an actor. Then we have Sickle, who I know is good. The only thing he doesn't have, and but neither of these do any of these have interconnected. Why don't we figure that out? Yeah, so Spade has interconnected, so I, I'm, I may keep Spade then, which means I gotta choose between Ragdoll and Raider. And I may bring them both, I'll just equip one to be an outside agent is all. Possibly Ragdoll. Let's see how good Raider looks. Three, six, she's good enough, usually. And she's an actor. So that's all good. I guess the question that, that I have to look at and she's four times five. Yeah, all, all these are good. She can be an outside agent. Does she have access to a possibly a better outside weapon? And she would down here, the semi 12, which is decent. Uh, but this one's even better, the MG 51. And she has not the extra fire points, but she has the extra action points to be able to move and shoot this bad baby. So let's take away these attachments and bring this in 
and add an attachment that may be plus four damage on that one or I wonder if I need a better or a quick reload on this thing. This one does okay damage. Let, let's see. This is a... It's only, it, it shoots 10, so it has four shots before we need to reload. We're, we've been hanging in there. Let's give it extra damage. Why not? And then I'm just going to double check with Raider. And just check if there's anybody out there. Oh, Ranger's getting treatment. That's why she's unavailable. Dust Bowl is away and he's not all that amazing. Especially for an inside agent. Oracle. Yeah, and I think I'm the only one on this thing. I think I remember from last time. I'm probably the only one and I'm busy. Because I speak. Oh no, it's Arabic. It's not Russian. I, I was thinking I spoke Arabic. Uh, a Russian. So we don't have a Russian speaker. We'll survive without it. And Raider's going back on the mission. So I have my three interior folks right here. Disguise. 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 Interconnected is Spade. And then what we're looking at is I need to equip over here. So let's get a vest that doesn't slow us down. Let's get a med kit. And let's get... Oh, I don't know. What else does everybody else have? Let's kind of see. We have a cluster bomb and a cluster bomb. Why don't we grab something a little different? Because we have the options. Hope's End! Good to see you. <laughs> You're walking. <laughs> I hope... Well, here, here it was windy earlier, so hopefully you have good earphones blocking out the wind so you can hear what's going on. Let's see, I'm thinking, oh, well, well, you know what we haven't tried or thrown yet? Let's take a stun grenade out there. It reduces action points and fire points. Uh, it would prevent them from shooting at us for a turn. Although I kind of like the idea of reducing uh, mobility. Let's go with the gas grenade. We'll do that. I shut tight, y'all. Now the team is in here. Hope then, Gleaser, chugging along. I, I I got the beat of the train. I'm kind of flowing in my seat to the to the chug chug of the train. Um, yeah, my earphones are in, so I can pretend I'm out. Well, actually, I'm not opening a window because it's a little cooler today. Yesterday, all the windows were open. Uh, but I'm feeling all of you where you are, wherever you may be. So thank you, everybody. For, for joining up in here just in time for our assault against Beholder. And we do have a, a, a control phrase in here. We didn't get very far solving our intel at the very beginning before some of you arrived, so you really didn't miss much there. And we're going to launch. We have two known agents at this site. I'm going to keep all the support units the same. Let's go. Yeah, it, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you, Hope, and if you were out walking yesterday, and I was out, not a particularly long stroll, um, it, I had to walk over to the ATM in town. Um, wh whenever I see the, the, the exchange rate dropping, I, I sometimes just take a little reserve amount out just <laughs> in case it drops some more, uh, but the dollar has recovered a little bit against the Zwati, so... <laughs> I may have panicked a little bit for nothing, but I, I'm always keeping my eye on that stuff. So, oh, you had a day and night off. That's very cool. That's a nice breather. That's a nice breather. But uh, to finish my point, I was out walking yesterday, and I think I might have been sweating a little bit. And I only had a basically a t-shirt on. I just had, although I had jeans on, not shorts or anything. So was I sweating because uh, I need to get back in, back in action and uh, out of winter mode? Now I'm not seeing... Okay, so we do have an interconnected person. So I don't really need somebody on this side. And plus a lot of the lower rooms looks like they have bars on the windows anyway. So I'm just trying to see if there's a location where an outside team could help us. And I'm not really... 
really seeing such a thing. So I think I'm just going to come over here because uh, it seems to be safe for many agents who could be looking out a window. Pure and simple. That's the only reason I'm starting here, since there's no access to anything that we need. So we're going to pick that starting spot. And I'm going to put some stuff Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we weren't quite that warm here. But if we're talking Fahrenheit, we got up to, uh, we, we got up to 70, low 70s here. And, you know, when you're coming out of the winter. Yeah, you sound, uh, Shiny Blade, you're making it sound like you're in the Midwest. Because when I was living in Western Kentucky, this springtime would do that to us sometimes. Yeah, you, 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 we, we'd sometimes, the spring is the time where it jumps all over the place. And it's, you get teased with the warm weather, and then all of a sudden, you, the clouds come in like today, and the, the weather cools off. Ah, near Niagara Falls. Okay, okay. I haven't lived near there. I've been there. But I lived, the closest I lived to Niagara Falls would have been Boston for the few years I lived in Boston. So yeah, I, I kind of understand the the weather you're dealing with. <laughs> I I know how it can swing. I've lived in many parts of the country. I guess I can now say I've lived in many parts of the world. So <laughs> I, I get it. Y'all tell me where you've been. I can go. I get it. I understand it. Let's see. Northeast, east, east. I think I want to spot her on the east, and I want to spot her on the west. We're gonna play it that way. And we're gonna put all we're, we're gonna put all our eggs in one basket this way. I think those are good locations are good enough. I think I want smoke on the west, and we'll put the poison gas cloud on the east. So that's the way I'm playing this one. Yeah, I've always liked travel. Who 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 knew I'd be traveling in, in this stage of my life? But I I'm ha I'm getting a kick out of it. I've always loved to travel. I mean, even when I was younger. Uh, even in my college days, I had the benefit of being able to to study abroad for a while, and, and I, I just, in that way, I feel very blessed that I've I've been exposed to a lot of different things, and it's been amazing. And then even younger as a child, through the through the Boy Scouts and all, I have tons of exposure, backpacking, and the the the, the troop I was in, we camped every month. Uh, weekend trips once a month and every summer we went on a 50 mile hike and or canoe trip one of the two so i've been around to tons of different places experienced lots of different things and it was in the in that respect i li lived a charmed life as far as my exposure to lots of different situations so anyway a little bit about the commander now you know why he's uh, running a team uh, of 80s spies about to take down a beholder cell. Let's get down there. See, Omicron, that's a picture of Omicron is on one of those files that we deciphered today. So, same with Lamster. Lamster's in there. So that's not an agent that we have to worry about. Let's kind of get the overview and see where we got to go. Oh, this is purely an eliminate all the opposition one. Plain and simple. Don't plant bombs. Nothing so advanced. Just... Now, I think Spade is my interconnected soldier, and I think we're lucky to have Spade not very far from some of these devices. Now, that door's locked. We can make it over to this door. Spade, Spade, let's get you a moving. Unless... Oh, this is even better! There's one in the room you're in. I don't even technically have to go into those other rooms. Then all we gotta do is locate our agents, use the code word on one of them, the control phrase and then at least known agent wise there's only one left after that all we got to do is take that agent out and then everybody else one by one by one so spade 
I do have you chosen. Uh, I do now. now. Let's come over here. Oof. The random office worker. She didn't get over here in time. We're gonna turn off. Yeah, and I, I, I at first I thought uh, thought the the dolly with the box on it was a person. Shows you how accurate my at a glance <laughs> ability is. So let's let's do it. And it should be a lovely interconnected. All sorts of stuff should be out. Let's just look in the other room. Make sure the laser barrier thing. Yeah, that's out now too. So it looks like I'll still be taking Spade over here. Yeah, and I'll probably send Sickle upstairs then. So we'll we'll send Spade back over here to to get the loot. And we're good. Now. Sickle, I always am nervous about going upstairs. But I think I have a spotter over here. So let's call in some support and see which spotter is on this side. Okay, that's the wrong spotter. Let's go over to this spotter. There we go. So I can spot all the way back here to see, maybe it'll let me see around the corner. I don't know. And I'll feel real safe about going up these stairs. Okay, so it looks like we are safe to take Sickle upstairs. And the first thing I'm going to do is Sickle. Well, let's see how far, let, how, how about I choose him? Uh. Yeah, Sickle, we're taking you up. In fact, I'm going to bring you to the corner here. So you can open the door and check out this room, since I already did the spotting for the hallway. Let's tell you, let's see what this lo room looks like. Okay, we do have somebody in there, but it's not anybody important. So we can go in there next turn, or hell, we can go in there this turn. And we'll just kind of stand over here, look at the TV. Anything good on? Jeez, I thought it was somebody else. And Spade, an outside oh team, God. and the final inside team right here with Raider. Now she's also on a down floor downstairs. And what we need to do is clear the downstairs. I'm more interested in clearing the downstairs first before I take everybody up. And I would like to make sure... Okay, we got loot right over here for you. So let's take a peek through this door. Uh, it looks like a relatively famous last word, a relatively quiet room. Let, well, okay, we have some top secret documents I can continue over towards. And then uh, this is the last room I haven't really checked down here. There's a guard, but nothing I have to get in here. Nope. So we just have to worry about coming back there to take out the guard at the end. There's no loot. So let's. So, so, there's only two pieces for you to pick up, so that's good to know. At least two pieces that I noticed. So I'm going to shut the door. And we're going to proceed into the room. One move at a time. Why did you do that? Why did you pan over there? What, what, what? I hate when the game does that. I'm like, what was I supposed to have seen down there? There's not even really a door that we should have seen through unless it was slightly, unless there's something like right over here. Let's go here. Oh, good haul. Oh, nice pickup. I love when there's three in one. And then my outside team is over here. I, I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna keep y'all there. Because more than likely... Oh, I can check my evacuation early. Yeah, see, more than likely, this is the side we'll end up escaping from, since we can't have you guys... So this is what I'll do. Since this guy's just kind of parked there, I'll keep... Uh, and I'm not calling evac yet. I like to think I'm a decent player, but no. I, even I will not be calling evac that soon. So I'll leave 
Codex here to in case we need to start shooting people because things go bad. I get a little too confident, cocky, whatever you want to call it. We'll bring you here. Now, one thing about bringing me there is if anybody walks into the windows upstairs, that's a bad thing. So it's probably better to keep us under the balcony because we can see what's inside here. Standing by for order. Uh, well, since we'll all be near the exit zone, okay, we have a guard here. So yeah, we'll we'll spread out over on this side. So if things go loud, uh, we can take care of things and not be seen from an upstairs window. So I think that's a good first move. All right, lots of camera pans, but none of those panic me. <laughs> Only certain camera pans panic me. Now, one of these rooms, if I can recall which, because we're still on the first floor, I saw a document there. Yeah, it's over, over on this one. So the first thing I want to do is kind of take a peek in the hallway. See if the hallway has a wanderer. And there doesn't seem to be, at least not around this curve of the hallway. So we'll come out of the hallway and come up to the next door to peek into the next room. Because there's still one agent we have not discovered. Oh, I discovered the agent right now. And I can't move. And she's going to... Oh, she's going to see me. Did y'all see that right there? We're gonna get discovered next turn. Oh, wait, 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 unless, unless, unless... This is not the one. This is not the one! <laughs> Who has the fucking, excuse me, frickin' control phrase. <laughs> oh. 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 My. Lord. I mean, cuz... If she's looking this way, we we could get lucky that the cone doesn't see me. Um, <laughs> do I have anybody nearby? Uh, I don't consider that nearby, and I can't even go check my briefcase right now. Um, so there's no way you can get down there. Spade. Spade! My, 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 my girl Spade! Forget going over where you were going. Oh, but I can't come out here. Oh, and you can't. Well, let's pick Spade and, and rather than estimate, let's see how far she can move. Now, this agent has 116. The only way I can get next to her is to get exposed. Holy smokes. Oh, baby. Uh, and I'd have to bring anybody on this side. There's no... Well, the cameras are out. But they would... Yeah, there's a guard here that would see us if we tried sneaking in that way. There's a guard here. We can come into the lobby just fine with, say, Ragdoll, and it... Ragdoll, can you make it that far? Oh, oh, no, Ragdoll can't. Ragdoll could get in there, and she could do an unsilenced shot. Um, I wonder if I could breach with Spade. Let's see if she has what Spade has in the way of silenced. She does have a silenced weapon, a PPK. Um, so I could get up to this door and breach. And make sure I'm using my silenced weapon. 
and hope that works. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you know, Shiny, I, I, I feel like sometimes the places I've been that, that, that say, if you don't like the weather, wait a few days. I, I, I think some people that are real hardcore where they live with that, with that saying say, eh, if you don't like the weather, wait a few hours. <laughs> I've heard that line used that way too. But I, I think breach, breach is probably a, what we're going to have to do. And I'm and knowing the agent's there, I'm just going to run over to the door to get ready to breach. And guess what? Here's my control phrase agent. So guess what? He doesn't have a, a an obvious vest on. I got lucky that we didn't get seen. He wasn't turned the other way around. Um, yeah, some luck is better than skill. <laughs> I might be able to do my control phrase. Now, technically, except I don't think Spitfire. Yeah, we, we don't have... Uh, if, too bad. If, if Spitfire had a door here, he could get around to take this, this agent out. Oh, no, he wouldn't be able to. He wouldn't be able to. So he's actually not that much help, but he's on our side. Does uh, does he, does he, does he? Where is he, Spitfire? Oh, he, he has a very powerful, loud weapon also. He's carrying a big gun. So I think I'm still... Destined to do to do a breach, and we're gonna hope that Spade's weapon can take this agent down in one shot. What can I say? Uh, we're gonna hope it doesn't spread. I, I don't know of any other individual in this neighborhood, so anyway, let's see if I can set her up. Let's go back to Spade. Jeez, I thought it was somebody else. Nearby agents move into the designated area to here. So that would be where I'm moving to. I always I always have to think each time because I don't breach enough. Oh wait, that, I don't want that agent to move in there. I want spade. I got spade chosen. Why why is it showing a Spitfire is the only one to move through? I, I want Spade. Let me make sure I've chosen Spade. Okay, Jade, Spade, it, uh, Spade is chosen. I was mixing Spade and Chosen and trying to make one word out of it. Now, if I breach with her, look, it, it's telling me to. It, it's making me send Spitfire in, and he has a loud weapon. I do not want that. Maybe I need to leave Spitfire. Maybe I need to move. Oh, that's right. She can't. Oh, no. Now I've ruined it. Oh, my lord. Uh, and Spade. Uh, Spade can breach. But then the whole place goes loud and goes live. So now I'm left with the option of rolling the dice that when she comes around the corner... She comes around at such an angle, and she looks down this way so that my corner cover works as corner cover, because if she's looking this way, uh, she'll see around that corner from, from that spot. From this spot. Oof. No, Spade, Spade can't anymore, because she's right. When I use the control phrase thinking I could bring Spitfire in to, to, to make it happen, uh, I didn't really know that... First of all, he didn't have enough health to take her down quietly, and secondly, I did not realize his 
a weapon is not a, of the silenced variety, so that would make the whole whole place go loud anyway. So this is this is one where because he can't even do the takedown with his health. He's one shy of the 116. And there's no way he has the movement to get in there, you know, the long way around. Like, he would have to come down this way. He has three movement. He can get here in two, so he can get over here in three. Oh, or maybe this is three. Oh, well, this is breaching. Let's get out of breach mode. But, um, if I got Spitfire moving... Yeah, he can move this far. So he also... But... Maybe I move him to... Oh no, but he's... It says he's, go, he's gonna... Be known if he goes in here. So he's... He's... You know how sometimes... When we use control phrase, they don't trigger... He he if she if he's seen also, he'll trigger her. So we gotta be careful with Spitfire, even though he's not wearing I mean he's not wearing anything. He has a blister gas bomb. I, I, as far as I can tell, he's not wearing anything overtly oh, maybe he is. That cause that's a lot of armor. Let's see what kind of armor my my folks have. I know 16. So he's wearing if he's wearing armor, it's like mine. It it's it shouldn't to be a problem. Well, let's see. If things are gonna go loud, Spitfire, go over here and get some loot. Okay, at least if we're if we're gonna have things go haywire, we're gonna grab some loot in the process. Yeah, and since she's an agent, she she would know, hey, something looks off with you, dude. Spitfire, you're spitting crooked right now. Something's going on. So I, I think I just bring Spitfire nearby. In fact, Spitfire can do something else to save us time. Come in here, Spitfire. He's helping us grab loot before things go loud. All right, yikers. Holy smokes! <laughs> I don't want to press next turn right now. I, I, I want you all to know, I do not, right at the moment, want to press next turn. Now, Codex, okay, he's right around the corner. You'll be able to deal with him. You'll be able to move in and deal with him. And then we have another agent here. You can deal with Ragdoll. I'm just trying to get ready for if things go loud. Uh, and I don't think we saw any other agents downstairs. This is this room we don't know about. So maybe what I do is uh, I send um, like I was going to do. I send Ragdoll. She can sneak in this far. And then I'll bring a Grimoire down a little further. And everybody will have an agent. Ragdoll will be inside to potentially get another agent we're not aware of. I'll just keep her ready to bash through the door. I mean, I could bring her right here. But I think we're going to have enough guns if she sees us. Uh, to work on her. And take her down. You know, that could be a thing. Like, she lost com she lost communication with a guard, and now they're all starting to look. The only problem here is, we have people... It, the only guards I see... Well, guess what? There's this guard. Where nobody would probably... Well... Depends on who's in this room and how they're roaming, and... Uh, I have a lookout, but I can't see in on this side of the room. So I can't see in this room to see who might be in there to look out. So maybe we try that. Eyes shut tight. You know, we're reaching. 
We are a region. So maybe I try taking this guy out and seeing if... Yeah, and watch her wander the same direction she would anyway. We don't know. Oh. We're, I, I'm, 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 I'm just assuming that the angle, it all depends on which way when she stops here, which way is she facing. Down this way, there's a chance we won't be seen. If she's looking over this, oh, that's so cutting it close. We got all these agents lined up to be taken down. I'm going to play that game. And, and I'm going to send her in here just as just in case. And I doubt we're going to find a, an agent in the, in the stairwell. Famous last words. And hopefully there's nobody out the back door here that'll see us. Oh, there is this guy. Oh, there's another guy here too. Oh, so Ragdoll, you move down, look around the corner. Oh my lord, there's two of them! And they have more than pistols. They're easy to take down, but... I think we may, with Ragdoll, we have enough... We have enough awareness where we could take them both down. So you got that one. Grimoire. You have... This one. So that's one, two, three... Four... And then five. That'll be half the opposition, if things go loud, that we can take down in the very first turn. Barring anybody scatters and, you know, runs out of anybody's range. So that's half the map. So I guess we play it that way, then we all are near the staircase here, we rush the staircase, get upstairs, kill as many as we can. Okay, so there's a big open roof. Oh, and we still got Sickle over on this side. He can't do anything about that. So Sickle, why don't you leave this person here? Let's get you prepared, moving over into this room, so whoever's in this room, you'll be able to take out when things go loud, and maybe you can get the secret document. And that will mean this side of the building is dealt with. Let's bring you in here. Okay, so that'll be six out of ten that we have taken down. Now there could be other guards outside, but then I'll be able to flood the upstairs and there could be somebody wandering around even on the roof, for all I know. Or the rest are gonna be upstairs here and we just rush them. In fact, this was where one of the laser barriers were. And here too, so we can rush into this room. And any guards in the hallways or upstairs or in this room back here, we'll rush and try to take them out. We'll call evac if, this is all if. So now's the big time. Yeah, so, so I guess I'm gonna take the chance that she won't see us around the corner. It's a big risk, but it's no, no more certain that the guy over here, if we take him out, that gar you know that they search right away so in my practice there's a turn delay before that kicks in i might be wrong but if there is a turn delay she's going to be walking here anyway <sighs> oh lordy 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 and there could be somebody in this room too downstairs that's the one other room we aren't sure about oh and we see a guard back here so that's i think we're up to like seven now there's another guard around the corner over here, down the way. So that's like seven. We're almost aware of where they all are, just not quite. So this is going to be interesting. Here we go. We got a plan if things go south, and I think odds are that they will. But everybody, cross your toes, cross your fingers, and say a quick prayer for the teams. Yeah.
Yeah. Ah, we're, we're seeing. Yep, yeah, we're seeing. Yeah. We're seeing. We're seeing. And we're hit. Oh my lord! And that was a 91 graze! Well, Raider will have something to say about that. Even Spitfire could have something to say about that. But we do have some medkits out there, and we're going to have to uh, get Codex around the corner as fast as he can over here. And we're going to take this guy down. And then maybe I can get Spitfire... No, he, he... Well, he could probably take out the agent. And I can still bring Spade over here uh, to take out this agent. That, that way I can get Raider over to Codex. And next turn, at least, we'll be able to... Any other agents were aware of that became visible as a result. Fortunately, the agent was the only one able to shoot. Everybody else will be able to handle pretty efficiently. We just don't know where, uh, you know, two to three agents are located right now. So Codex, come over here. You got a med kit. We're going to need it. And I want you near our agent as near as we can get. I'm going to have you take this one down by the car. Uh, if I can do it with a shot, I will. Otherwise, you have sufficient health to, to use awareness to take him down. All right, so the shotgun won't work. And we don't have action points there. Yeah, you will take him down the old-fashioned way. Yeah, so I can still put him on Overwatch. Oh, I can do this too. Oh no, I can't. It's beyond. It's it's the old shotgun that I love him to carry. Uh, but what I will do is, in case there's an agent that comes from a, another direction. In fact, maybe I Overwatch the room above because we can. I'm thinking up here. No, is that that that's too far? Apparently, he cannot. Oh, okay. So he is able to get Overwatch if someone comes to the window. They're in for a big surprise. How about that? Fucking shit. Raider, you're going to be moving out. Spade, you're going to be Jeez, taking care of this agent else. for us. And I'm thinking I'm going to try to go up first, Spade, with the PPK and do a single shot standing right next to her and see if it'll do 116 damage. Otherwise, we know how you're going to do it. Now we saw somebody crouched over here. So I think there's somebody in this hallway. There's yet someone else in this hallway. When she came out this door, so we know of somebody else down here now. So I may bring Spitfire over to the door to work on whatever we saw down the way. And Spitfire only has one shoot. So hopefully I can get him here with an action and a, a fire move, a fire action and a move action. And then he can take that one out. So let's, I'm rambling. I'm getting ahead of myself. I got to see if these work. So we're going to have to do a manual takedown because none of our weapons are going to be enough by themselves. There's more where that came from. That'll teach ya. That'll teach ya. And so what I'm going to do is uh, take down here, if I can do it around the corner with Ragdoll. Because we only have... Oh no, I take it back. We only have one action for a takedown. So I won't be able to take them both down. Except, and I gotta try and make my choices. This guy looks like he has a bigger gun, so Grimoire will take this guy down. And then I'll take this guy down and then try to run at least into some cover so this other guy just doesn't annihilate us. This is the way I'm thinking. I hate to take him down 
Well, I can do a burst here. Because this also takes an action. So I can only shoot one of them. And if I'm going to shoot one of them, it's going to be the one standing right here around the corner. And then I'm going to try to run into some cover at least for when this guy shoots. So we don't take full, full damage. So this will kill this one. Can I do it with one bullet too? Yeah, let's let's conserve ammo and do it this way. I accept. <gasps> yeah, this little canasta vibe going on with her. Now Spitfire has one shot. And I'm kind of feeling like I need to bring him to this cover point because I sure got the impression there was a guy crouching over here. You know what I'm saying? And if you bring him here, he still has a move because he has a big gun. Yeah, and to fire it, he needs a move and a thing. So the best I can do or the only way I can make sure he would have a shot if... I don't know if the guy's a little bit around the corner... And we'll see if we have a line. Let's go find out right now. No. You know, I saw a guy... Cr oh, mate, you know, that's the guy I saw crouching. He was upstairs. That's the guy I saw. So there's a guy upstairs. Except this is a... Oh, I can see him. I can freaking see him. Because of the skylights. Skylights are not our friend. We got to remember that in the reverse when we're moving around. And we're going to take a shot because he has no awareness. He's going down. I'm going. <laughs> on your oh, baby. That was so cool. <laughs> Now, I don't know. Yeah, we started in this room. There was no guard. And... Now I can't remember if we ever made it into this room. But this is outdoors, so... Let's, let's hope, Codex, you're, you're covered. Raider, we're going to send you out here to this point. Just in case, with this open door, it makes me a little nervous. So you hopefully can't get shot before you get healed. And you don't see anybody. So what we'll do with you... We'll overwatch down this way in case there is somebody coming at us through this from this room. Sickle, you're taking this guy out. No need to be quiet about it. Ooh. Yeah, let's do a big old-fashioned burst. Uh -huh. Alright. Grimoire. This guy's gun looks bigger than this guy's gun. Although, technically... They're both pretty close to being the same. I wonder if I can go here. Oh, you can't move after shooting, that's right. So I'm thinking I pop you in the cover here. That, that means... Uh, Ragdoll's uh, flapping in the wind like a rag doll. She's gonna get hurt by this guy. Oh, wait, wait, I got snipers. I got snipers. I got snipers. Thank you. I was just thinking that, and then I looked over at the comments, and I saw that. At Hope's End, well, Hope's End, you beat me to it. But at the same time I thought of it, I shut tight did too. So we got snipers. We got, we got support, support, support. Call in the support. Call in the support. Let's do it. Let's call in the support. Now that's guy that I can call in the other sniper. Or oh, are they both on this? They, it looks like they're both coming from the same direction. One should be coming from that side. The other one should be coming from the other side. 
Oh yeah, this is coming from the other side. So I want this one. No, I want the one coming from this side, and that's what this one is, because the other one's coming from the other side, and then I can take out this guy. Hopefully. Oh, thank God for support. All right, grimoire. That means now you can take out this guy. Well, let's let's uh, see about the other support. Yeah, let's take out this guy. I like the prone shot. It looks like he's aiming a little better than the other one. <laughs> And then uh, we're, we're going to bring out the loud weapon and blast this guy to kingdom come. Alright, what I'm going to do in the meantime, I need to call E back. And we're going to call it right here. And their, their reinforcements arrive first, so uh, let's hope they don't become an issue. And we've taken out 8 out of 10, my friends. We've taken out 8 out of 10. There's only 2 left that we have to find. Only freaking 2 left. But I have no clue where they'll be. Um, shall I try spotting somewhere? See if we can pick one up. See if they're outside. Now, what rooms did I say I have not had access to? So this one doesn't come from this side. Can I get a spotter on this side? No, apparently on the ground level I cannot spot over here because there's probably a building in the way or something. And I don't think, yeah, there's nothing I'll see upstairs. Now, what I could do is make sure there's nobody on the roof, although we would have seen through the... And there's no way I can see into this building. So my spotters really don't help me see where I want to see. Well, let me try the spotter from the other side. Oh, the, the other side. Now I can put this on the roof and make sure that the roof is clear. And then I'll know that what my big fears are is I gotta get into these two rooms. And that's gonna take a little time. The only good thing about that is there's windows that we can jump out to escape. So I don't mind sending a team up there to, to flush anybody out. So let's let's just look at the general roof here and see what we see. And it doesn't look like anybody's on the roof. The other reason I was checking that is because then we can get Sickle running across the roof. That'll be the quickest way to bring him across, potentially. So uh, we're pretty much done, guys. Let's see if they make themselves seen and help us out. So we don't have to guess too much where they are. I almost don't want them to be seen, though, or want to be seen by them. I want to see them first so I can shoot first. What's okay, up, we don't know where they are. We do not. No freaking clue where they are. So that means I'm uh, rushing upstairs with the team over on this side. I've got to do it. I've got to go... You know, we got kind of got to do a balls-out move here. Get Grimoire up here. And can she shoot? Do both her weapons need a movement to shoot? Yes, they do. So, Grimoire, you're not the best one to go charging up the stairs because...
Well, I could keep you here and put you on overwatch at least, because that leaves a movement and a, and, a, and, a, and a shot, so you can cover the door and maybe the hallway. So I, I guess I can bring you there to overwatch with your big gun. And then the turn after that. Now let's see, Ragdoll. Let's get you upstairs. Okay, let's not get you upstairs. Oh, there's no... I was hoping... Then I was hoping there was a ladder over here, but there's not. So let's get you... Well, I can get... I can get you upstairs. So let, let's get you up here also. And you have a gun, you'll still be able to... So we'll have two overwatches up here. And then next turn, we can start clearing out the rooms. The two rooms that we really have no clue as to what's in there. And then we have Spitfire. He actually helped us tremendously clear, clearing the guy in the hallway. We do not know who's in this room. This is a room we, we never cleared out. So let's clear it out and then send you towards the staircase also. Oh no, Overwatch! Ouch. Well, can you return the favor? Oh yeah, in a big way. <laughs> At least that's Spitfire and it's not our own guy. <laughs> now we have one more agent out there. He's got to be upstairs. It's got to be in one of these upstairs rooms because we pretty much cleared out every other freaking room trying to remember did 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 we peek in this room at all I'm gonna send maybe I send sickle the? down there yeah let's send sickle down here to look in this room from this point he can still move away and hopefully he doesn't pop overwatch if someone's in there overwatching like this guy we found the last guy except uh, I'm not in a position to really hurt him so much well I only need one shot he's in so I can take my last move into this room and make sure I don't miss except he's got a lot of health I may have to send codex or someone over here to help us Let's see if Sickle can handle it on his own, since he's not on Overwatch. 83, ain't gonna cut it. 108, will. Thank goodness we have a bigger, better gun, the MP5. And he has a gas mask, which tells me there were... Th yeah, there were, there were some gas masks out there. The problem is the reinforcements are going to come in and our objective will not be completed. Well, no, no, we, we did eliminate. So even the reinforcements should not reset that. So now... Um, Grimoire, don't overwatch. We, we know we got them all. Move towards the loot that might be left up in these rooms. And then you can jump out, not that window... But this window does not have the bars. So we can still jump out the windows. Is there any loot in this room? This is our, our last moment. We got two turns to find loot before things go to hell. Now we got a top secret document here. How much do we need? Oh, we're never going to find it all. We're never going to find it all. But let's grab what we can before we have to skedaddle and get out of here. I'm going to have Codex do the heal. Right here. And let's heal. Okay, she's not 100%. Maybe we can get another heal on Raider so we don't lose any infirmary time. Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's get moving. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I jumped down with uh, what's-his-face here. 
Oh, uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's right. We had this briefcase back over here. I don't know if it's worth running backwards to try and go get it. Oh, and I never got the top secret document here. Oh, man. Where's the ladder? Here's the ladder. Oh, Raider, you only have three movement. Spade? Uh, I, uh, am I gonna... I, I guess, in a way, I'm thinking I'll get more intel by the, getting this person, you know, out of here. Spitfire's moved. I could... Try sending Grimoire or over, but it's going to take two turns to get over here. Then the reinforcements come in, and it's going to take like another freaking two turns to get out of here. I think that loot. I think the loot is just going to have to be un unattainable. At least the two in this side. We'll still get the top secret documents over here. And then what I'll do is I'll make Spade pick up the body here right now. And at least we'll get intel from an interrogation. That That's my thinking. So let's pick up the agent. We're not even going to take the time to stabilize her. If I got to put her down to fight our way out, so be it. Casualty of battle. Oh, she's going to walk out on her own. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> I made uh, a Monty Python moment. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> oh baby. And Ragdoll, we know we don't have to worry about Overwatch now. And Raider, you can keep moving. Now, at least some of us will be able to set some overwatches. Not sure exactly where the reinforcements will come from, but we'll have some overwatches. Or we don't need to set the overwatches now, so we're all done. Yes, I'm feeling better. <laughs> yeah, the... <laughs> also the Black Knight. <laughs> it's just a scratch. <laughs> And that, <laughs> that's why we're carrying the guy out, because he's the Black Knight. He has no legs and arms left to, to walk out on his own. <laughs> that, 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 was a, that was a hilarious moment. Oh, man, so close yet so far away. Yeah, but I think our lives and our health is more important. So we're, we're going to pull out, because reinforcements are, gonna re, are, are going to appear starting next turn so i will be setting overwatches this time as long as i have weapons that i can overwatch with and we don't know which way the reinforcements will be arriving uh let's cover our backs in position grimoire you're tasked with coming in here and getting at least the last document that'll help us out So we missed two locations of loot that, because we went loud, it was all going pretty smoothly up until that moment. And can you jump out the window from here? Well, not with the movement you have. How about we get you to the window, ready to jump out next turn? I hope you can jump out. And let's come here. So in case you have to run all the way back to the staircase and it, it, the game is funky like it sometimes is, We'll find out right away next time. And why don't I just... Yeah, you won't be able to overwatch. Because you don't have enough action points. And since Ragdoll's here... We're going to send Ragdoll this way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you can jump out this window, you'll be able to jump out your window. And we're going to overwatch back this way for reinforcements. Now the good news is we have smoke, we have we have things we can fire against these folks. Um Yeah, Spitfire will go this way going, don't shoot, don't shoot, I'm in your side right now, I'm on your side. He'll just come here. And he cannot overwatch with his weapon. Codex will stand right here. 
And he'll overwatch with his big gun. He can shoot pretty far. And Raider, Reporting. you don't have a very big gun to overwatch with. You have a freaking pistol. So just stand on the corner here in case, you know, they, they decide to drop, like, right in front of us. I don't know if i ever seen that happen, but I, I guess there's a first for everything. Just surround yourself with Overwatch. Grimoire, your gun is too big to Overwatch with, and Spade, run like the wind. Run like the wind. Travel like Gleaser and get home as fast as Gleaser got home. Run, run, run. If you get as, if you're moving as fast as Gleaser, I mean, hop on a train if you have to. <laughs> run. Now I think everybody's moved now. Let me just Awaiting do a orders. quick cycle through everybody. Yeah. Let's see if we see reinforcements as they arrive. All right, all right, all right. We like fast trains. We like fast legs to carry us out. Now, we don't see anybody, so they're not on this side of the building. So that's the good news. So I'm, I'm just going to bring uh, Ranger, because we got reinforcements in another five turns. That's no big deal. We just have to avoid the current reinforcements. So that's a good corner to tuck Spade. She can get out next turn. Codex can stay there and overwatch. Raider's probably useless. Yeah, I, I could probably get somebody back in that direction who will have better overwatch, like maybe Sickle. And then he'll be in range to get out next turn. So we're, we're covering back this way, okay. thinking they'll come at us from that direction. And yes, you can jump down, that's good. Grimoire. And let's give you a big overwatch. Back this way, in case they come around that corner. Who is that? Spade, stay put. Ragdoll, let's give you this little tiny cover since there's since Grimoire already took the full cover. That's one hell of Overwatch if they come around this corner. That's all I got to say. I Spitfire, time for you to motor. I know you're not our agent, but yeah, you'll be able to get out from there. And you're protected by Overwatch if they come at us. Get on my back, asshole. And Codex, yes, we want you get one of your big hefty overwatches down this way. And Raider, you're the only one that doesn't really have much to do. How about in case they come through the building, you do something like this. Cover a couple doorways here. And we're done. I think that's it. Who is that? Yep. Now we see if we see the reinforcements, otherwise our evac arrives and we're all in position to get out. Okay, we didn't see the reinforcements, my friends. We never saw the reinforcements. So what we got to do is... Uh, I, I don't care as much about Spitfire. Let's get um, Raider dealt with first. So who has a med kit? Grimoire, you do. And you're already in evac. So let's get back to, to Raider. No, 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 no. Raider move there. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that was her. I was like, I was like, our raider got excited that she got back to a med kit, but it was, uh, it was a civilian over here that screamed. <laughs> it's like, yes, I got a med kit. So we're gonna have grimoire heal here. Yeah, there we go. Right away. That way, no infirmary time there. Now I have one more med kit out there. I might as well heal Spitfire so we can get his control phrase back out into the field that much sooner. Uh, Ragdoll, do you have a med kit? Yes, Ragdoll does. So, Ragdoll, move in here. Spitfire, move in here. Ragdoll, heal. My skills are at your disposal. And that'll at least shorten his infirmary time before we can get him back out with his control phrase. Oh yeah, he won't need- oh, that's much better. So much better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Codex is just uh, frustrated with all the delays, all these silly med kits. He's going, just a scratch, guys, get moving, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what, like what the way Codex sounds. So we kind of made up for the loot that we did not manage to grab, although we probably would have grabbed the agent anyway if things had gone well. But we, we at least compensated for the loot we couldn't get to by grabbing the agent. I think we're all here. Yep, off, time to go. And the only thing that could, that had the chance to make it better, is if I had not activated the control phrase. Although then you know what would have happened. Then our guy with the control phrase would have turned around and walked across the room, looked through the open door at the agent we killed on the breach, and things. I think things still would have gone loud at that point. So... I guess it worked out as good as it could have. We got a lot of the loot, but not all of it, but I, I'm happy. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a n nice speedy train. Not every train locally where I am goes fast. It just depends on the stretch of track, what two main cities if it's if it's more just regional trains they don't go as fast as the longer range trains etc 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 so we got a new agent candidate we got lots and lots of intel yeah it's still a decent outcome i'm not i'm not i'm not crying that's for sure i'm not crying uh the only one that came in with wounds is not our agent yeah spitfire Uh, so let's take a look in the infirmary and see. Look at Clover has been in there, it feels like a year and a day. Proteus is getting close to being out, and then Spitfire, not too far away. Crew quarters, we got some new skills for Spade. Let's go see what she brings to the table. Increase maximum awareness. Yeah, hers is a little pathetic down here. Now, most of the shots we were taking today were not single shots. But you can see the benefit of a, of a single shot not ending the turn. Our, multiple, our, our big shots we took today end our turn, and it, it, it makes things a little iffy. Uh, but I'm going to pick up Expert Marksman here for Spade, because she tends to be an indoor person, and so if she can take a single shot with her pistols and still move, that could come in handy for us on the inside. She can move up next to somebody, shoot them, and then continue moving. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a go now, even though I feel like I should give her more awareness. And it looks like we have some heat that we're gonna have to take care of too. Spitfire, you know what? Um, we want your gun. We want your vest, and we want your blister gas bomb, because uh, we can sell it. Otherwise, uh, enjoy your time in the infirmary. And I am not going to pick your, your skills here, because just in case they can be used against us. And that's all we got. So as soon as Spitfire is healed, 
Oh no. He's captured by the Cabal. So he's still generating heat. I wonder. Spitfire. No, we're just gonna send you out injured. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the old control phrase again. I don't have to move right away anymore, so I can afford to uh, re-control phrase you and send you out again, slightly injured. What the heck? Oh, it says influence already applied. So he's still. So I can just freaking release him, and therefore I won't take any more heat and let. It, he's not injured that much. Just a scratch. Isn't that what we all decided? Or actually, that was for the other agent. So Spitfire can, Oh no, I don't think Spitfire is causing anything. We can get him healed up. So if we control phrase him, so we're gonna keep him in the hospital. It's the other agents that's causing the freaking heat. Mercy. Mercy me. Mercy, mercy me. We're gonna interrogate her. There we go. Now the heat's gone. I definitely was reading this wrong. <laughs> Mis misremembering things my trademark so we have some analytics but you know what I'm gonna do first oh we gotta go out to the map I think we we haven't reconned this yet yeah it's in progress we got a team flying there to do the recon so I can't do I was hoping I could I was gonna say oh maybe we got enough time I can squeeze in this mission but instead um, Oh well, we're not going to quite get it done yet. Do I have any solo agents out there? Yes, I do. So I got to send someone to New York from Beirut. Sickle, head on out. And then I do have some IDs I'll have to repair. So let, let's do the uh, ID repair right now on Spade. And, uh, Alicia Gonzalez is who you shall be. Uh, unless somebody has... Well, now I'm not even going to wait for the lookalike names that we may come up with. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Carolyn Wright. There you go. You notice I didn't use the first one because I can pronounce this one a hell of a lot better. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, our IDs are all at least current. I don't have to worry about accidentally moving somebody around without a proper ID. So we will do analytics after all, uh, since I, I still have to recon. This, this one will be solved with the last two pieces here. Rockstar! Verify redacted activities as per briefing 2J. Uh, follow up on the recent Aguirre sighting. Aguirre and Rockstar is what we're looking for. Here's Rockstar. But I don't see Roaring Twenties, Warm Winter, or Fanny Pack. That's what we need to get up the in innkeeper. I told you, Easter Group doesn't like it when Black Ops makes it onto paper. Fanny Pack? Never heard of. Hell, it could be a spook for Spindlehawk or even Redacted. So this is our linking thing uh, with Fanny Pack right here. Now I gotta find Easter Group or Spindlehawk, and Spindlehawk seems like the one I recall seeing before over here. So it's gonna tie us up to Roland Shelley. And there's our file with a hell of a lot of new intel also. We got a new agent contact. And then there were two files left. This one will also. This one, if we're lucky, we'll be able to solve it. Let's do the one we know we'll be able to solve. We got a hell of a lot of intel for this one. Dean McMacken. We've seen that name in the past. Will it matter here? Cole Porter, class of 55. 
There's class of 55 right here. There's Cole Porter. Let's bring it all the way over. And then bring this back. Ooh, do, 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 do. Bring this back. Like that. Okay. Now there's a 1418 link I see someone telling me. So let's... I see the 1418. Green corn. Green corn. Also over here. And we have a commuter or a thunderclap or finders that appeared. We have two other files that Karateka. I've seen that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over here. So this is kind of linked up over here. So the ones we really need to be finding are finders, commuter, and thunderclap to, to kind of tie these things in. So yeah, we got the Karateka. Cole Porter, I think we did that. Yeah, we did all that. I think we're current. I think we're current now with and then finders. Oh, somebody has finders. Oh, wait, it's way down here. That links it back home. Good eyes. Two new agent candidates, two more pieces of intel. I think that means we're going to be able to solve the other one, too. And we're going to be out of files after this. That means the story mission is now coming front and center. We got archery range, navy blue ink, spet, spetsnaz. No, oh, I don't remember funky peelers anywhere. I'm gonna move this down to make a little more space. Oh, and then then there's this big file here, Sec securitat. I don't know Romania. I don't know how that would be if it'd be, uh, you know, if this, I don't know a, how Romanians pronounce their C's and whether it might be securitate, more of that kind of a sound. I don't know. All right. So we got, I, I see things coming up. Plague doctors. Okay, good. It's right in line where I need it. That's good to know. Aviators. So somebody else uh, yelled out aviators or was that the old file? That might be the old file. Because I don't see aviators here. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. There is aviators, and I, I gotta, I gotta, blah, 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 blah. I gotta make the the. So what I'm gonna do, aviators. Let me slide over MIT. I see aviators now. Gotta make room for it. Down here. Good, 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 good. Good eyes, everybody. Good eyes. Now we got Placer's Claim right here. That's a good place that I happen to put that. Funky Peelers. I feel like I've heard Funky Peelers before. It's way over here. Oh, man. Well, the heck with it. Right now, I'm just crossing it right over. Latent Utopia, Queen's Court. Latent Utopia is over here, too. This is a messy board. I hate boards like this. Zigzag. Fix your, fix your crap up here. I'll tell you what I, how I can fix it up. Let's bring this one over here. Yeah, this is just in, inconsequential. This is just fixing it for my brain. <laughs> That's all I'm doing this for. Because I need it to be a certain way. <laughs> And right now it's not. <laughs> oh well, let's cry. I, I'm not going to spend any more time. I'll spare you guys. Okay, Regal anywhere? Do we have any Regal yet? No. Navy Blue. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Navy Blue Ink. And uh, I'll let you guys point out anything else because I got to solve a few more pieces of the puzzle. Do we have Stalemate Aurora? Oh, Aurora's here now. So we're starting to make some links on this one over here. Archery range anywhere? Archery range, anybody? No. 
plowshare, dynamo room. Oh, dynamo room. Yeah, that would dynamo dynamo room. I'm starting to make make my tongue twist myself. Sometimes just the effort of speaking on my part causes a tongue twister, but that's a whole nother story. Let's see. Lay speaker. Okay, I, uh, you know, plowshare. Did I see plowshare somewhere? Yes, I did. We're just finding links left and right, and all oh, the strings are crossing, and my mind is going insane because of it, but oh well. Several men from the U.S. Department of Defense uh, stopped by while you were away. Oh, and it's another potential link. If it's not too much trouble, please stop causing power outages all over Boathouse. The DOD. Where do I put the DOD? I don't know. We'll put it down here. Do we have a link with Boathouse anywhere? Where did I see Boathouse? It feels like a Boathouse is up here. There it is with the NSA. And did somebody say Dynamo Room or did I... Uh, uh, did we link that already? Yeah, we got the Dynamo Room. Okay, let's look for another one. Lost Cosmonaut said you needed the right person for the airliner op. So here are a few ca candidates. Major Domo. Uh, Vanguard. Posed as Ardwolf. There we go. I just jumped around on that one to do it as fast as I could. Let's see. Uh, Major Domo. Vanguard. Vanguard sounds familiar for whatever reason. Don't know if it's on this one, though. Nope. Ardwolf and Lost Cosmonaut. There's Ardwolf. Thank you, Shiny Blade. I think you and I saw it about the same time. Uh, is there a Boathouse one, or did I get that one already? That's the only problem with it. It's, it's not much of a lag. It's like a five-second lag, but, it, but sometimes... <laughs> between you guys popping, typing something in, and by the time I see it, or by the time I look over, I may have already done some of them, and I can't even remember what I just did. Yeah, we, we did Boathouse down here. Okay. Equipment operator, Queen's Court. Major Domo. Oh, we'll go back out there and take a look at that. Lizard men seized a Noctambulist's a later, latest shipments, and I'm skipping down. Have Crusoe. There we go. Now, you said you saw a major whatever. Major Domo is out there. Oh, way over here. That gets MIT back into the game. Potentially. Oh, look at that. MIT is a thing. Ooh. New agent. Three new agents is all we got from this. No new intel because there are no other files to have found intel from. So congratulations, everybody. This one is solved. The analytics department is empty. And we'll at least have money in an hour to uh, do our emergency move to Casablanca. Should something else crop up. So we're in good shape. Uh, I could sell something to build another... I'm just, rather than selling, since I'm not, we aren't in an urgent moment, uh, we're going to come back out here and just advance some time, get this recon done. And we got another new agent. So all we're getting right now is new agent candidates, which we're not in a position to hire quite yet. Okay, we're getting the recon going here. Ranger has uh, ready to start her treatment from square one. And that means THG. That's what we start with. I think Ranger will end up being a good agent once hers is done. Now, Grimoire already has had hers. I'm not removing hers. Okay, what do we got? We got something over here. We got a team nearby Karachi and Baghdad. Let's send them. It's probably another agent that we need to. After THG, we're going to do the little Ampia. And after Ampia, we're going to do a little EPO. Okay, we're already up to 4,800. So we're, we're gaining money really fast. Happy about that. 
And it is another informant. Uh, EPO is followed by DXMPO. And we got some new secret files from our, uh, from where? Oh, from the interrogation. So we've got to do something with this interrogated one. But we got two new files of Valhalla's letters and internal minutes. So let's pause. Uh, they're just new files, so there's not, I'll wait till we get more intel in those files before we do them. Um, so what I've got to do, oh yeah, 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 let's go to MK Ultra. And mercy me, mercy my. Uh, let's try a little control. We might as well just have the whole, the whole beholder cells, plural, filled with control phrases. Why the heck not? I can afford it. Let's do it. The yeah, ranger, ready for drugs, sir. Reporting as, <laughs> reporting for duty. Shoot me up. <laughs> there we go. New Dark Souls boss dropped. The interrogated one. <laughs> and we only have on the board. Well, that's there's only one known enemy on the board, and he has a control phrase. Hussar, our good friend. He's at the. He's at the area where we're reconning right now, and the reason there's no other agents known is because they're all in our MK Ultra getting, <laughs> getting control phrases input into their brains. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so we finished this mission. Uh, well, no, we are we have finished the recon for this mission. This will be. It is a six person, and I am required to go on this puppy. I am required. This is one that requires Russian. Oh man, we are just a little light on Russian speakers now, aren't we? I have a feeling some of our infirmary folks may speak a little Russian, but they are temporarily unavailable. Now I have interconnected. Yes, I do. So I don't have to worry about anybody else having it. I have it. Well, Spade has it too. Let's just take her. She was acceptable last time, except for, well, being seen. And then, uh, Raider. Oh, no, wait, Raider was the one that was actually seen, wasn't she? Um, I don't think she's super... F no, three... Or that wasn't Raider. Raider wasn't the one that was seen. We'll keep Raider out there, 127. So we have our three in disguise, and we're looking very Russian in our er, very 80s Russian in our outfits here. <laughs> yeah, I know none of us speak Russian, unfortunately, but I as a deadpan am required to be on this mission because I'm the main I'm the main guy. And there's certain story missions where I'm required to be on them. It's like they want you to risk losing the whole session by being on a story mission. Of course, not ever. There's only been like a couple story missions where cover is blown. So, but they they do that on purpose just so you have a th there. There's that threat of hanging over us that we could lose the game. I guess. Yeah, I don't speak Russian. I can barely say some Polish phrases. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the other day. I had to go, <laughs> I had to go pick up a package uh, for someone in the household because you know sometimes you get really cheap delivery if you just have it sent to the corner store instead of up up at our at our home. So I have to go down there and you know I know I know the basic phrases, mom pachka do and I can I can pick up the package, but. You know, I'm kind of sunk if they start rattling off all these other things that they start talking to me and asking me about. And then, especially, I, I always feel like I gotta go, speak to me like I'm a two-year-old. You know, please? <laughs> it's, 
It's like, uh, cause then they lose me cause they start rattling off so fast and uh, you know, and to, to, to keep hearing Polish in the background where I am, I, ha I, I found the radio station where the, the announcers, you know, the, the broadcasters speak the slowest, at least in my opinion. So I have the most hope of figuring out what they're saying. <laughs> Because I tell you, well, it's just like radio in the U.S. There are some stations that have speed talkers. Well, it's the same thing here. And uh, what can I say? Oh, thank you, Hope Then You're, you're going to give me some practice now, aren't you? <laughs> oh, boy. Right, so anyway, uh, I think we're... I really don't have to do anything about what we're all carrying. I think we're in good shape to go out there. I've got all the support that I like to use. So I'm not going to probably finish this mission in 15 minutes, but I'm saying, shall we get it started? Is what I'm thinking. Um, I can't think of what else maybe we should do before then. I'm thinking, let's uh, maybe maybe get this started. Well, you know, the problem, the hopes and by the way, the, the problem is I haven't memorized, I mean, I haven't, I, I panic and so I can't, you know what saved me that day where she lost me? There was a younger, younger kid behind the counter. I don't know if it was related to the lady that works in this little shop or not, but you know what I did hopes and to get out of this one? Nightmare! All is good in the world! Uh, we had a fun little mission that didn't go quite as planned, but we, we, we made it out in pretty good shape, so it, it was good. But it, now all feels good. But Hope's End, you know how I got out of it? I, I couldn't think of uh, the phrase you just said. Um, because sometimes, you know, you literally panic when, when people... Because she's never talked to me like that before. But I guess she's starting to recognize my face down there. And I, I say a few things in Polish, so, you know, you fool people sometimes. But uh, fortunately, her, I, I'm going to assume it was her son, or maybe that's just somebody else that works there who happens to be on the young side. I just looked over at this kid and I said, uh, you know, move your po angielsku. <laughs> like I was praying to the guy. <laughs> Do you, do you speak English? And he did, and the day was saved. And so I didn't have to worry about, because otherwise I would have pulled out, you know, a translator and we would have we would have got by it. So I, there's always an alternative when you forget the words and you panic. But you know, I've I've never not survived here. But anyway, here we go. I I do sometimes panic, as I do sometimes on these missions. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get down there and get this story mission started. Like I said, we probably will not finish. We probably will not finish. And uh, let's let's keep going. So we have to reach the server room. We have to retrieve the codes and then evacuate. So we track down our former associate to the heart of the Soviet military space program. We believe the conspiracy will attempt to obtain command codes for a space station armed with nuclear warheads. Prevent them from acquiring the codes by any means necessary. Oh, let's hope this is just not s scripted to go loud and we can actually do this one quiet. We'll find out. And we, we, we are only aware of one agent going in. And this guy has a control phrase the agent we know about, but as we've learned the hard way before, that doesn't mean there's not more agents out there. So we'll keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> Nightmare, you're allowed. You're here, you're here more, more than anybody else. So you need no excuses uh, for not making it on time today. I mean, please, come on. You're, you're 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 here all the time. You you are you've done you've done more than your share of supporting this channel. So uh, don't worry that you couldn't make it. Not in the least. So the big thing is we have some outside people. Where do things seem to be? We've got cameras. Is there anything near the perimeter that our outside people could help with? Probably not is what I'm guessing. Probably not. These are probably all restricted. 
And there's nothing really, there's no real outer buildings. So I guess if I had to pick something. Oh, what's this guy laying on the ground? Did somebody already breach this place? This is not a good sign if there's dead people laying on the ground already. Uh, I, I'm a little on the nervous side, guys. Look at everybody's down. Everybody's down in here. Oh, so we're going into a place that's already been hit. Is that kind of what's going on here? What you can do is what you did. Don't cut out early, don't make it awkward. Well, so we're, we're walking into a tough situation here, guys, is what we're doing. We'll have three people on the interior. Let's hope we don't run into the unexpected, and let's hope we run into the control... And it, oh, there are two stories also. So the control room's up here, and the control room has windows, so we probably don't want to stroll across this downstairs. So I, ba I, I basically what I'm saying, I don't think it matters where I start. Except I'll start over here with my outside team. And then as far as where to put things, there's no, not a whole heck of a lot of windows for spotters. So I don't think our support team is, so I'm gonna go east-west on the, oh yeah, it only, look at, I only have choices to go east and west. So we'll, we'll just do it with we'll spotter west, spotter east, sniper west, sniper east, and yeah, it saves a lot of the time I waste trying to go, um, um, where should we start? Let's just do it. Yeah, so something's going haywire in this place. <clears throat> it's like we're a little late to the party. This looks like it'll be interesting. I'll have to wipe my glasses off after the rain. Oh, Urban we're all outside. Today. Must have happened just minutes ago. Turn code beats us to it. There's no point in replacing the code. If he's still here, I can stop him. So now we gotta look for turncoat. There's potential... Of okay, we got a window we can go into. So the first thing I gotta go is... I gotta send myself into this room. I've gotta send myself in there. So deadpan, get moving. See if we see anybody. No, so far no. And what I gotta do... Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stand here rather than right in front of the door just in case, you know, somebody comes waltzing around the corner. And I will be able to do the interconnected shenanigans. I still gotta go for the server room, so that's still my, my main objective. We gotta try and hope to head them off before they get too far. So everybody else... We'll go upstairs. Uh, well, let's just see how much loot there might be. If there even is that much loot on this mission, being a story mission. I don't know. There, there, you know, that, oh, 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 that's a camera. I'm not seeing a lot of loot in flashing cabinets on this mission, so I'm, I'm going to assume maybe there's not... A lot of that kind of stuff here. We just got to stay uh, together and make our way with a lot of fire support. Yeah, I'm just... Okay, there is something here. Way over here. So maybe I just send myself over here. With the, I, I better bring at least one support with me. So... Codex, you're my choice. Codex, hang with the boss. Come over here. Everybody else, go upstairs towards the server room. How's that for a plan? Let's see what we're looking at going upstairs. Uh, looks like... Okay, we have a, a door here. And a door here. And that gets us into the server room. And by the time we get up there, I will have got rid of the interconnected stuff and we'll be able to get in there. 
And hopefully, with this stuff being in place, maybe it means Turncoat hasn't made it up here yet. Maybe that's what that means. One can hope. So let's go. let's send our team upstairs is what I'm thinking. Let's see what we got going up here. Uh oh. There's a guy at the top of the stairs. Only one way to find out. Well I'm sure you can handle it. Uh, that was bound to happen to begin with. Uh, but we'll be able to take this guy out. She has her shot. And we'll have more that we can send upstairs uh, that we'll be able to get this guy. He won't be in cover. And yeah, we can do our most hurt this way. So they're, it's like they're ready for us. They're expecting us. This is going to be one big old... Big ol' firefight is what it looks like. I'm gonna give you cover here so you can take this guy out. I hope. And still be in cover against them moving down the hallway against us. And we do see somebody. Looks like a rent-a-cop. I don't... Uh, there's still a rent-a-cop alive? Oh, they, they brought a rent-a-cop on a mission like this? Beholder, come on. They're, they must be running out of funds. Katsunung and Vadlin, good to see you popping in. Haven't seen you in a little bit. I'm glad you were able to drop in tonight. Yeah, the telescope station in Goldeneye. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't... Well, beware the female agent's legs. If, they, if you're gonna... <laughs> liken this to Goldeneye. <laughs> okay. Ragdoll, this is your shot. Finish him off. Oh, yeah. I didn't even need to take the other shot. I should have just brought you up here first. And he's down. Now, we don't know how many agents are going to be here. Can we get the rest of us up there into cover anywhere? Probably not. The only good thing is the only other person we're aware of here is just a rent-a-cop. Oh, wait. I can get cover here. So let's bring you, Raider, into cover. Because a rent-a-cop with a pistol won't be able to hurt you. Maybe, just maybe. Guess what? He has no... He is in cover, so he might still be able to dodge, but he has zero awareness. Let's go for the headshot. Yeah, there we go. We're taking them down. We're getting in here fast. Can't you just fuck off, eh? Setting up our perimeter. We got the three team, the, the four squad of four going upstairs. And we'll get you placed here. Hopefully. Uh, to start a door breach. Oh, we got a cabinet over here we can head for. Uh, let, so we, I, part of me wants to open the door now. Part of me wants to wait. Ooh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Do I open the door now, or do I wait? Uh, I have a weapon I can shoot. But it's not the strongest weapon in the world. So... I don't know if I want to open the door yet. I think I'll wait till next turn. Uh, what we'll just do is we'll just set up Overwatch, like, at the door in case somebody comes barreling and running out the door heading for the gunfire and then next turn we'll all be able to pile in there and then myself I'll just do some overwatch down the hall now that we're live and codex can't overwatch with that weapon but if anybody moves down this hallway towards codex He's going to get a shocking blast in the face. That's for dang sure. Let's see what happens. I'll rent a cop. Oh, only a graze on that guy. Oh, no! 
He's immune, I'm not. And there's a the guy coming out the door I was expecting. Only a graze, that's an agent. And the agent's running downstairs. Well, they probably can to shoot Grimoire or Codex. Went for Grimoire and hurt him bad. So we, we, that's Ragdoll. Isn't Ragdoll the one we can control? We may need to control Ragdoll really fast. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't open the door. Although, yeah, you know, because they still would have got a shot on Grimoire, but they might not have had to have moved so far. Oh man, lots. Another shot coming at us. Ouch. How many will there be on this mission? The only problem is I'm gr my movement is greatly reduced right now. And the question is, are those barriers down in the control room? Yes, so once everything went loud, uh, I don't have to worry about interconnected worth crap right now because where we need to get is breached. We just got to get out of here uh, with our lives. So, so let's see if we can have somebody do a control phrase. Is there anybody on our team like Codex? So I see this enemy agent and there's another one we see. Oh, so there's two agents. Which one is my control phrase agent? There's a good question for you. It's not Valiant over here. It's this one over here, the one we we blasted in the face. No, that's not Tinker. Oh, that's not an agent though, wait. Agent? It says it's an agent. I don't recognize these two names of the agent. Valiant? Am I even able? It says control phrase. There's no target, so there's still another... There's still yet another agent out here, potentially, that has a control phrase, is what it seems to be saying. So we gotta kill these two agents. Let's face it. Grimoire, you have a very hurtful weapon. And this one can dodge for 102. The other thing that we could do with you, Grimoire. Except you're hurt bad, and there's a lot of... Well, there's shooters. Well, there's a lot of shooters upstairs, and there's a lot of shooters downstairs. Let's face it. Uh, we we got to be taking them out, is what we got to be doing. Um, so, Grimoire, this is what we're going to do with you. We're going to shoot the guy down here, this agent down here, Valiant or whatever the name was. Codex is going to follow up with a shotgun here, and he's able to take two shots, and he's somewhat in cover, and he's at least immune to the gas. We gave him that perk, I believe. Yeah, there he is. I'm struggling from the gas cloud. Codex is not. So we're going to give Codex his two shots. The first thing I'm going to do, though, with Grimoire is take her shot, because even with dodge, she'll do, still do 102 damage. The guy will be down, the agent down here will be down to 5 health. Do it. My skills are at your disposal. Oh, thank you. I love that voice. Reminds me of our departed... At our hands, our departed agent friend, Codex. Will you be able to take... Oh, you, you can shoot this one. Except I'm not going to waste it there. I want to waste it. Not there. I want to spend it. Oh, Rent-A-Cop. Stay there. How many? Oh, there's like three Rent-A-Cops at the end of the hall. I could care less about them. I've got to kill this one. And the question is... She's standing in the open with no cover. Half awareness... Will this agent be able to dodge? Well, she won't be able to dodge the old shotgun. There's our solution. 
Sometimes the shotgun, you just can't beat the old-fashioned shotgun. Let's face it. Well, I guess it's a semi now, so it's not exactly the pure shotgun, but close enough. This agent's going down. Standing by for order. Okay, and then Codex is done. So I've got a lot of agents. Now I got to take care of this one. Spade can pop in there and make that a reality. We don't see any of the any other agents here yet. So we're just going to pop in here with Ragdoll. Now we're going to pop in here with Spade. They'll be here any minute now. And we're going to move right next to the guy for the sure kill. I hope. One oh, oh my lord. <sighs> well, for the sure kill. There's no control phrase agent. I'm going to keep pressing that over and over and over, going, where is my Hussar? I think it's Hussar who's in this, supposed to be somewhere in this. Oh, top of the hour. Oh, my lord. Uh, we're going to do a takedown this way just to take this agent out. No, not, a not enough awareness. Okay, we're going to shoot this agent within one point of dying. And then get some help over here. Yeah, we're still, we're, we are still, we are still. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a good, it was a good typo. I'm still hoeing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a game hoer. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. So it looks like most of the rest of the shooters are downstairs. Once I help take this guy out, I'll have Raider has to move or Ragdoll. One of the two. So Ragdoll, uh, you can move to this corner. You have a weapon you can shoot with one action point. Uh, yeah, you, so you can move over to this cover at least and kill this guy. That'll leave Raider to potentially run downstairs and help us a little bit. I think we can do it with a single shot because he will not be dodging this one. Ah, such eliminated. Okay, and hopefully that? Th that, that improves our health situation now. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll stand so that's a semblance of cover right over there. Now we got Raider, and myself, mind you, who's a little bit gassed up. So one thing we got to do is kill this agent. We still have a very dangerous person here who has me slightly worried. And I'm worried about moving through the gas cloud. Oh, this is just tear gas. So this is just hurting my awareness. This is only hurting my awareness. It is not hurting my health, apparently. So, hopefully it also means it doesn't wor wor uh, wear down my movement. Let's, let's find out. Let me, let, me, let me go back to me. Now why, is there overwatch out here? No, this is just... Oh, so maybe I take some damage if I move? It's telling me I'll take some damage if I move. Oh, yeah, the... The... The, the healing house. I think it's the Sisters of Mercy. Uh, I think Mercy is in there somewhere. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, but did you ever get to see our our lakeside battle, Mike? That was a hell of a lot of fun. You got to watch you got to watch that that part. So I, I think I do take injury if I move against this guy. The only bad thing is, well, Codex does have all his health, but this guy can move right in the in. in he can move right inside and flank us. So the first thing I got to do is I got to take Raider. Well, I wonder. Let me let me let me see. Do I see? I see the agent. So I don't have to move, and I can take a shot and kill that agent here. Therefore, what I'm going to do is we're going to take Raider upstairs, drop out the window, and take this guy out. Oh yeah, that's right. I did, and I even answered you on Discord. <laughs> Yeah, I know you saw it. There you go. I know you saw it. <laughs> uh, I'm good at the redundant questions that I already know the answer to. I, I excel at those. Now let's 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 drop down here and blast this guy with Raider. She's gonna be a Raider, just dropping out of the sky. That's the way a true. Oh, we found someone else. Oh, I bet you this is Hussar. This is Hussar, and he has the control phrase. Am I considered in... Uh, the problem is, if I do the control phrase, I won't be able to shoot this guy who's standing right next to me, so I gotta kill this guy. Which gun gives me the best chance? Well, this one works. That one doesn't, so we'll use the Wembley. And, therefore, what I'll do, I guess, if I move... Yeah, she can still move, but we'll keep her right there cover-wise. Or wait, I can bring a raider right here, and she'll be able to dodge a few rent -a pistols, eh? And that's full cover, easier to dodge from a full cover position, so let's, let's do that. Hey, uh now, my only problem is I can move through the tear gas. I just want to move here and have just enough left so I can run a control phrase on our friend over here. That's all I want to accomplish. And I'm probably going to take hurt. According to this, I will take damage from the tear gas. I don't know if it'll do physical damage or this may take... So if I move, it probably takes away... I'm going to lose these things from the tear gas. I don't know if I'm going to lose health or not. But it puts me in the full cover and I get an agent that if I don't do this, can hurt us. Yeah, because he could come right around here and start shooting at us. And I don't want that. So I'm going to take some damage on my body, on my person. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to do this one. So we're going to have to worry about our friend. Thank you, Shiny Blade. I already had forgotten about this one. And this one can't dodge. And this one's going to die a painful death. On it. So now we got to take our chances with Hussar. Hope he can't do that much, because I can't do a control phrase now. Because it needs a fire act, and I have nobody left to do the control phrase. We know where he is. Let's hope he doesn't go out this door and around into the hallway to shoot at us. Let's hope. I'm going to stay where I am, so I'm in full cover potentially with... Even though I've got the tear gas on me for two turns. And we just took out a bunch of agents just now. I want you all to know. Uh, now, I'm sorry I'm running a little over. I hope you all don't mind. I know the top of the hour has passed. But I, I'm having a hell of a lot of fun in this mission right now. And I want to see what happens. Uh, so here we go. Hussar, be kind. You know you kind of like us from that control phrase mind games we put in you. Don't hurt us too bad. Especially Codex. Ooh, he could get an angle on Raider, though. Yeah, all of a sudden Raider's not looking like that was a great move. But she dodged. He only has a pistol. 
Now the rent -a cops can work on Raider, but she may st Oh. 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 That was bad. Okay. Well. Who is this? Turncoat? Oh, that was Hussar. Well, damn you, Hussar. Who's the other one? Oh, it's just a pistol guy, so it's not even an agent. Yeah, it's just a commando. And all the rent cops didn't do a damn thing. They they did what rent cops do, and they ran away. Apparently. Ooh, poor Raider. Well, Raider, you know what you're doing? First thing you're doing. Now, med kits. Yeah, you only have one action. Well, guess what? You're doing the control phrase because we'll have we'll be able to take away the other shooter. Orders confirmed. There you go. Hussar, Raider, and Hussar will never be friends. <laughs> Hussar can't move this turn, uh, but we got to get Kodak in here to take out the other guy. There's corner cover at least. Oh no, that table is not quite corner. Not exactly corner cover. Hmm. Why is that? Oh, because he's moving through tear gas, but he it does it does it's not supposed to affect him. So even though it's red, I think we're okay moving uh, Codex in here to this cover. Because he has that perk that protects him. And we're going to try doing this. Uh, now this guy will be able to dodge. I'm hoping, maybe since he doesn't have cover in this direction potentially, we'll do the 111. Yeah, we did. And then... Nobody else moves. So I can bring somebody else... Around now, I'm losing awareness because I'm in tear gas, and I'm I, I don't have the ability to regenerate so much, and I think even my regeneration probably won't work that well. Now I can try Zen to try and offset offset what I'm losing on the tear gas, and that lasts three turns. So let's see if this will help. All right, that gains back some of my awareness, so my survivability has gone up. Now what I gotta do is see Waiting if orders. I can drop someone downstairs. Now it can't be you because all your weapons need too much. So if I did drop you down, you can't even get next to them. So Grimoire is not the one to drop downstairs. Do I have anybody else with mobility? Jeez, they can I help us. Oh no, I may have, uh... And if I do this, downstairs... Oh yeah, you can't make it downstairs. Uh, I'm, I'm in a little of a situation here. The only good thing is Hussar is the target of this guy. The only other good thing is he's only shooting a pistol. So Codex may be hit also. Raider... In position. ...can at least move. To potentially not die. That moves us into the gas. So we don't want to move into the gas. So I could come outside. I'm going to hide Raider here temporarily. Just so she doesn't get shot. And I'm debating whether I can still move through the tear gas to finish this guy off. Yeah, I'm also worried about the server room. I don't know if there's a timer, but... Oh, reinforcements. Holy shisa. Oh my gosh. Um, let's, um... I got, I got somebody I can send over there. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna look in here right now and hope they there's nobody that can flank us. 
So maybe I just look into the room since I can't make it all the way yet. <gasps> that wasn't good. Holy smokes! We're taking some hurt! Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm worried. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we're doing an adjacent shot. Ragdoll can still shoot, I hope. Unless she just has the big guns. No, she'll have a gun she can shoot with. I'm gonna do an adjacent move with Spade. We're gonna need both of them to hit. That was one sneaky dude. Ah, for, forget it. We're doing a headshot. I know it takes away awareness. But then, uh, I can come back up here. I don't know that anybody's left in here for Ragdoll, but at least Ragdoll... No, why is it back on me? I, I was trying to go to Ragdoll. There we go. At least Ragdoll can overwatch in case there's somebody hiding out in this room. Yeah, well, this is our best, best angle. Now, I think I gotta take a chance with this move. That there's nobody else gonna be popping in here on us. Because we don't want me to die. We want to be able to finish this playthrough. I'm worried about the rent -a cops that are somewhere over on this side of the building. Now, yes, they're only gonna shoot pistols at us and whatnot. So I'm thinking, can I move in here behind this full cover versus the known rent -a cops There's three of them down here. And hopefully nobody pops in this door. And then I can finish this guy off. Let's hope I don't take a lot of hurt doing this maneuver, moving through the tear gas. Okay, I'm out of the tear gas. It's just a warning. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'd, I'd cough a little too. And then we'll just take a pistol shot, because we can finish him off with a pistol shot. He does not... <gasps> I can't fire! I forgot! Oh, fudge cake. And I can't knock him out. What the frick am I thinking? I used Zen, and that used up my fire shot. Uh, misplay central right here. Misplay central. I can't even knock him out. So now... Uh, I gotta move again. Take myself out of direct line of fire. Now I have Grimoire. I'm still left with Grimoire. She's gonna heal herself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I should. Uh, the thing is, these are these are. This is interior rooms, and my my snipers are set up because they only gave me two choices for snipers, and that's on this side, no windows, and the other side, hardly any windows. So, as long as we're fighting in the interior, my snipers aren't going to be able to do much. Uh, one thing I got to do: support breach. Yeah, I can't even e call my evac until I probably get in here, so I at least got to get into the server room. <gasps> That's next turn. I can at least move in there next turn. Oh, holy crapola. Who do I got left that I've, I think, I think, I think we're done. Who's left? This should be going beep, 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 beep. Oh, he's shooting for me. Oh no. His pistol. He moved to a position uh, to give Codex two full cover pistol shot dodges. He he was kind. He is not the brightest bulb in the beholder's chandelier. Oh, there's another one outside. One of the rent -a cops Okay. First thing I'm going to do is move upstairs and have Ragdoll go in here. I gotta retrieve the codes. I'm assuming... over here? Oh no, that's in... Yeah, it's right here. Okay, let's retrieve the codes. Uh, 
and let's the get the hay out of here. Clean. They took everything. Impossible. Without proper authorization codes, the crypt in this system would take years. And yet, they did it. Most have people even higher up than we thought. Okay. Well, I'm going to come over here. Then I'm going to call E back. Yeah, at least we got something out of it. There's there's not a lot we're, we're, we're getting on this mission. Uh, let's go find out where the evac is, because we got to stay alive. There's going to be... No, no. Definitely not there. We'll, we'll evac back over here. Extraction we still got to hold out for four turns. We got one turn. We're get, getting reinforcements flooding us. So we got to start setting up for getting out of this situation. We got some of the rent cops Only one of them apparently is a brave rent -a cop Whereas he came out this way, and that brave rent a cop may, if we're lucky, guess what? That's what you get for being brave as a rent a cop. So, what we gotta do, uh -huh. get the hay out of here, uh-huh. Let's see if there's any, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for some loot on the way out. I guess it's silly sending me. But I did. Okay. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to focus. I got my awareness back. That is important. Now, Hussar, if you die due to the reinforcements, I don't care. Uh, you're going to come over here and finish this guy off. Just use your pistol. Doesn't doesn't that guy feel a little silly wearing that uh, that skull mask? <laughs> you know, he put it on this morning, going, mm -mm, "I'm one bad, <laughs> I'm one bad dude." I was about to say something else, but fuck, it's the fucking boss. <laughs> uh, uh. So we're gonna we're gonna start having to set up. Let's see, we're going to have to cover down here. Who knows where exactly they'll be coming from. We, we really do not know. So the, the cover positions, we'll, we'll just start taking some. Codex, this cover posi position was good for you once. And we're going to take your real nasty overwatch. Oh, that guy was being silly. We don't have, we, 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 we can take him out. And there's more loot shining at me going, Come on, Zigzag, just, we're, we're real close. If you just run down to the end of the hallway, you, you can do it. It would not be a stupid move. Come on, Zigzag, do it, do it. Do it till you're satisfied. Uh, Hussar. In position. Yeah, I was surprised. I think I was as surprised as that rent -a cop <laughs> who who graciously stepped out of cover for us. Now we got uh, Grimoire. That's full cover. Why don't I, at least for this turn, since you have full awareness, uh, we'll send you down here. Oh, it's full cover. Now, normally I would not hide behind such containers, but I've never seen explosive covers kill anybody in this game. And I want to send a powerful overwatch down this way with that gun. Ragdoll has a long way to run to get out of here, and so does Spade. Don't sneak up on me like that. There's... I know there's... there Was there, was there anything left in this room? Well, Spade, let's get some loot while we're here. 
Let's get the easy loot. That safe blinking at me at the end of the hall is not what I call safe loot in our situation right now. Reporting. It is tempting me like like you only know. It's tempting me. Only five guards? Oh yeah, there's there's one left. We we all, how do you know there's five? What 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 are you seeing that I'm not seeing? But there there's one pistol at the end of the hallway. I wonder if I can get do I have anybody else with movement to get down here? Now the guy has full awareness by now. So who do I got left? I think Raider's the only one left that hasn't moved. Yeah. And Raider doesn't have the most powerful of weapons. Uh, so all we're going to do is just have her overwatch. I was, gonna, I was thinking overwatch interior, but she... Yeah, that's kind of probably a waste of an overwatch. Uh, Ragdoll, you might as well overwatch too, just in case somebody makes it into the interior to come after us. And Spade, you can also overwatch. Well, nobody, there, there's nobody going to come in here in any direction you can overwatch. I feel silly doing it. But somehow I feel better putting out overwatch. Reinforcements are arriving. This will be a long enemy turn. It always takes longer when the reinforcements are arriving. We don't know where they're arriving from. I'm here. Okay. Now that wasn't as long as some. Now airstrike in four turns, so barring some weird catastrophe, we will get out a turn before the airstrike. And so far, we just got the poor rent -a cop down at the end of the hallway. Let's start taking away some of his awareness. Poor guy. How much awareness does he have left? None. I think after being shot with a weapon of that a caliber and type, uh, I would lose all my awareness in my pants. <laughs> some, something like that. Hussar, can you help us out? Yeah, there's this one locked door here, but we can all pop out the windows on the side and make it out. So the other blind spot that we're going to have to be aware of is down this way. Reinforcements could be coming down there. So Raider, Awaiting orders. unfortunately, I don't want to stand here so she can potentially get shot by someone coming down that way. Uh, what I can probably do is send Grimoire over here to set my overwatch down this way in case reinforcements are coming that way. And we don't see anybody yet. My skills are at your disposal. And everybody else uh, get a running as fast as we can. And yeah, there's no windows in there. There's no overwatch required in this building until we get out into the hallway. And I'm not going to stand you there to get shot. And we're going to stand you right there. So at least you have cover. And Spade will just do your overwatch. However, you know, just in case someone comes that way. And then Raider... We're, we're, we'll, we'll keep your overwatch here, as pathetic as it is. It's still overwatch. And then Hussar, I wanted you to shoot at this guy. And we're not... Oh, yeah, he's in cover, so we'll probably only do 24 damage. Oh no, we did. That's because he stepped out in the middle of the doorway. He did that on purpose, so I would notice the blinking safe over here and uh, continue to torture myself for not being able to get to it. Who's I'll left? Ragdoll. Hey, 
Oh, me. Let's get out of the hallway. Uh, I guess we'll come back here. Oh, I can't quite make it there. I guess we're coming here. At least I have full awareness for standing in that awkward position, and I can help extend the overwatch down this alley a little bit farther. Why not? I think we're done. We do not have everybody at full health, so hopefully we are not going to get surprised somewhere uh, that causes someone not to make it. That would be horrible. Horrible. And we are not seeing the reinforcements yet. Fasar, let's get an idea. Fasar. Oh, you know what? You can't make it. That's a terrible location for me to be remaining. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna resolve that because I'm blocking the window. So I'm gonna bring myself right here to also overwatch up the alley. And no, we don't see anybody. So we'll have two of us overwatching this way, everybody else more likely overwatching the other way. Now hopefully the, the reinforcements are painfully and slowly working their ways. So now, Hussar. Yeah, you, you, do, you do not have the movement to get out. Unless I bring you here, you might be able to make it out from here. And that'll be a good overwatch up the alley. Everybody else, Codex, can make it out. Hmm. Who else is on the interior? Some of our folks upstairs. Hurry up. They'll be here any minute now. Spade? There's no great place to send some people. Oh, there's a window over here, too. Well... Not everybody's going to have perfect cover, depending on how they go. Oh, well. Codex. Grimoire. There's one person. Ragdoll's upstairs. We got to get her moving. Uh, we, she can jump out the window, and we're going to do it. And then Raider. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Codex, like I said can make it out. So we'll keep them there. Waiting on your go. And uh we got we got a little overwatch here. Uh no, we got a, a lot of overwatch here. We got Ragdoll and her Overwatch here. I accept. We got Spade and little Overwatch this way. I wonder if the reinforcements will ever find us. And Raider, you just got a pistol. We're not even going to bother. Can't believe the reinforcements haven't found us yet. They're bungling their way through the interior of the building, perhaps. It's the way it. It's the way it seems, eh? It's the way it seems. Now, who saw you? The only one I'm not 100% sure about. And you, you. Okay, you can make it out. So it, it, we're just gonna set Overwatch, and next turn we can get out. Barring reinforcements messing that up with gas grenades and and, and and whatnot. So we're just gonna do it. Whatever we can. Trying to hit whomever we can. Now if they're gonna work their way through the interior, maybe now's the time to just let's get Codex out here. 
But then nobody's on the interior. They're, they're certainly not, don't seem to be coming down the alleys. And the alleys are definitely covered. I mean, I wouldn't want to walk down this alley if I were the reinforcements. I'd come through the building because that takes a lot longer. And we're going to try coming through the building and flushing them outdoors so that our air attack can then take them out. So maybe that's the strategy they're following. And they'll never find us out here. Uh, you know, that's probably a good point, Nightmare. I, I, I hope I don't regret not reading your comments soon enough, because I really could. I had the smoke available. Might as well have just played it safe. But it worked out after all. We didn't pay the price. Just like we didn't know what we were walking into, the reinforcements didn't know what they were walking into. And therefore... So Codex, heal yourself. I want you available and out in the field. That'll eliminate his, his recovery time. You, you already used your med kit grimoire, but I'll leave you over here in case somebody else has a med kit. Now, of course, we need lots of med kits right now, so not everybody's getting healed. Let, let, let's, let's face it. No med kits there. So everybody who needs a med kit, line up on this side. Need anything? Hussar, you don't have a med kit. Let's cook it. Orders. My skills are at your disposal. Ragdoll has her own med kit, and ooh, does she need it. So we'll just use it on you. Raider is also the other most injured. That significantly helps lower the infirmary time and you don't have any med kits. So we used all the med kits we had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all of us. So story missions anymore are called one blown cover mission after another blown cover mission over and over again lately. Early game there wasn't quite so much chance involved in these story missions. It was just get in and get out and, and succeed. Now, every time we go on a story mission, it's like, uh, who's blowing our cover today, especially without Undertow around? A fairly good outcome. Didn't get as much loot as we normally might have, but it was going to go loud right away, almost without a doubt, the way they were spread around the facility there there's no way we could have had had much hope of sneaking around yeah she i did send everybody in thinking i just had to hurry 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 and i i, I guess that that was a mistake on my part um assuming that the place and all the age and everything everybody was dead in there that there wouldn't be such a welcoming committee and i i just I made I made a poor assumption, a, a, a poor assessment of the situation. Uh, tip of the iceberg. Get a taste of Beholder's real power. Oh, if that's their real power, I'm feeling good. <laughs> you want to know the the most difficult mission was way back near the beginning, like in the second chapter when we had to fight our way where they attacked our base. We had to. We had to go into a former base of ours, get some intel out of there, and then get out of there. And it was up on a rate. The, the place we had to get to is up on rate. That battle was tough. That was probably the toughest firefight battle that I remember. This one didn't live up quite to that. Probably because we're a lot more powerful now too. Uh, but we did it. We got out. We got a, we got a few wounds. Yeah, 
more than a few wounds. Uh, but what we'll do is we will come back next time, and we will. Uh oh. Yeah. No code name, just Evelyn Pocock in a Hoboken address. Yeah, I don't like that one bit. She looks like a civilian. Want me to do a background check? Well, that's the least we can do. All right. <laughs> we might be heading to Hoboken, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're we're working on a worldwide map, and where will this mission take us? Coming up, Hoboken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Barut safe house. That was a tough battle. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. Who knew this game would take us to Hoboken? Who knew? Now we got some new workshop items, new things to look at in the control, but we're going to do all that next time since we ran over schedule. <laughs> And speaking of schedules, we got a little lamp lighters. We're going to go even farther back in time tomorrow. We're in the 80s now. We're going to go back into the 30s uh, for tomorrow's mission. And then who knows what time frame we're in on Saturday. <laughs> we're, we're in an alternate world Saturday. So, um, yeah, there you go. Thanks, Hope. In, in fact, Hope's End, I got one thing for you. Unless you, you may have caught the other mission, but you were the one that came in here. Um... I have the picture somewhere. Yeah, I, I, I took this pic for you just because you were the one that, that, that shared the emoji with the kitten in the box. Just to show you, like a day or two after that emoji, uh, we got a package in, a, in this box and the cats just had at it. So I had done this for you and you weren't on the following stream and I kept forgetting to show it to you. You did see it. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure you didn't didn't miss it. Because you were the one I did it for. You are the one that inspired me to take those pics because, I, oh yeah, we just had that emoji with the cat in the box. So anyway, there. I'm, I'm done. And I'm not going to say goodbye or goodnight to everybody on this one because we're running over and we're just going to cut out at this point. I want to thank you all for, for popping in and all your help and all the chatter you give me. I, I have a lot more fun playing this game with you guys along for the ride. And I'm going to take this chance to thank all of you. So this is Zigzag Zag signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for dropping in and I do hope to see you next time. Ciao everybody.